and Carrera now each have two personal fouls for South Carolina. KJ McDaniels. Oh, what a left-handed shot. That was not easy for McDaniels. I'm 76 now. Because of that, I will always get tested. And I went in one time for a checkup. They said that you have thyroid cancer. Three weeks later, I have my thyroid removed. But the three scariest words you'll ever hear is you have cancer. But Dari, you feel vulnerable. You feel sorry for you. This game was 23-11. But South Carolina now in a 13-2 run as they sit within a point. And because of their offense, their defense is incredibly energized. McDaniels, yes! Good looking drive into the lane. And I liked the pull up. Better do something. Cross court. Eric Smith inside the line for two. No good. Rod Hall, the rebound. Leading the charge. McDaniels got it. What a play. What a finish. And what strength. Not many guys. Hale. My apologies. Redshirt freshman out of New Albany, Indiana. Averaging seven a game. He had to sit out last year when Robbie Hummel came back for that last season. I mean, look how much room they are giving the perimeter guys. And Daniel to the rim. First. And the defense getting started now. KJ McDaniels. Oh my God. Clemson defense, the vaunted Clemson defense that hasn't allowed more than 57 in a game this year make a bigger impact in the second 20 minutes. Well, if they don't, they have no chance. And even if they do, they may have too big a hole to dig out. If they only score 65 points themselves, that would help if that goes down. Given nearly a goal 10, but KJ McDaniels got the block. Here comes Clemson down 18. Lob up top for McDaniels. <laughs> the recruiting process. Had a scholarship available, and they decided to bring in Harrison from BYU. Had to get the waiver appealed and everything, but still playing the station for the Ducks. Three assists now for Ronnie Johnson, a half dozen for Tyrone to tie his career high. McDaniels knocks down a three, just the third. Sap, bounce pass, Booker, followed by McDaniels. Lewis succumbs to the pressure. Here's McDaniels again. He was worried about getting a shot blocked. And you know, he had to practice that one, but Booker got his pocket picked because he brought the ball down to his pocket. And that's eye level by Isaiah Morton. Daniels in the lane, hop step, good. ...by Oklahoma to start the game, and then Tim Floyd started to throw those junk defenses in there. Box in one, triangle in two. Absolutely. McDaniels now. He hits. Four for Other than Streeter's ability to get to the lane off the dribble, John, UTEP does not have a breakdown, breakdown offensive player. There's the triangle of two. We saw it. It's on both guards. And McDaniels hits five for five. Let's see what UTEP is doing defensively. Now it looks like they may be back man to man. They're still face guarding those those guards in those corners. Good position inside by McDaniels. Yeah, right now Clemson has a lot of offense at the other end. McDaniels buries a three. That's their eighth feet easily it's almost like not blitzing the quarterback John so if you play too far off what will happen is he gets to look inside he also gets a running start at driving look at this another three-pointer Dallas a school that produced uh, former Duke star Thomas Hill really good basketball in South Dallas but he's a late bloomer and he had a terrific sophomore season at UTEP McDaniels that floater will go 16 Presbyterian so they haven't really been tested yet John but they've done a really good job first two games of taking care of the basketball 11 turnovers a game 
Jennings flips that one inside and is able to find KJ McDaniels, a player. At least that wasn't the initial idea. No, a few dunks his freshman year, and he became a quote lottery uh, pick. Nice move inside McDaniels. That's good. De that was good defense. That was a tough shot and a kind bounce, John. Shooter's touch. I would say that's accurate when it comes to Pangos. For you or me, it would be a kind bounce. <laughs> Very fortunate. McDaniel's able to bury one. Today they're going to go back to the Charleston Classic next oh, area. Oh, there he is. Oh, he got a tip. He had, he had the big man. Hall oh, leaves it for McDaniel's. It's been quiet today. The only four points for him. Downing's been quiet too. He works his way into the bigger jerseys down low. It leads to some transition chances. Booker saves the opportunity for Clemson and does it again. You go back to that last play the other end. I'll tell you how quick Clemson is. Downing's man fell down, got back up, and he still couldn't beat him in the basket. That's how athletic they are. Tigers started the game on a 7-0 run. Starting the second half in similar fashion. Here's K.J. McDaniel. It's a 9-0 start to the half. Down low, but Booker was standing in the way. So a transition possibility for Clemson. Look at that rebound. K.J. McDaniel has flashed that athletic ability now three or four times. Not only did he jump up high, but he didn't reached over everybody. And he can hit the three as well. That's a great asset. He's open if they swing it wide. Both freshman guards on the floor together, Filer and Roper. There he is. He deserves the points on this possession, doesn't he? He was open the whole time. They just couldn't find Leading score, and a guy Davidson was so high on. They thought maybe he could be the Stephen Curry replacement. That didn't work out, so yeah. now he's here at PC. We, we noticed when he shot this morning how such a quick release he had, and he used it right there. Shot fake, got the defender in the air. Oh, Mr. McDaniel. 